So here we have um, Birch's Garden Barn Off. This is where Hitler would have pulled up on his train. They okay, had a vehicle waiting for him and on his way to Berghoff and the short distance to the river um, sentry post it had travelled through this tunnel ahead of me here okay so this is purposely built for safety for Hitler and it's been closed ever since I guess probably what 200 meters long and not used anymore incredible eh just a long tunnel with storage facilities in there incredible and that's it not many people know that so another fact is I set up Burgess Garden railway station I showed you the tunnel we would have taken with his car this is where his soldiers would have been based I don't know how far it goes but that's where they would have been crazy Here is the first gatehouse to Over Salzburg. Okay, this would have had um, a swastika. Okay, would have been guarded. And, oh, oh. As you can see, the date 1937. Okay, so that's where the first line of security for Hitler would have been quite interesting and that's the road up to Albers Augsburg the camping platz and I'm heading towards Albers Augsburg uh, right, first location I want to try and get to is Hitler's tea house. Obviously, tea house gone, um, a little ruin, but it was a place where he used to go with um, his generals, his secretaries, and discuss the war. You know, so bit of a trek through the snow, but um, now walking up to. Hitler's little tea house. There it is, look. There it is. Oh, oh. Bit deep. There she is. So I think the tea house was there on the left. I'm not going to be able to see um, the base. It's obviously all smashed down, but the base is under that snow somewhere on the left hand side. But this is where Hitler would have walked. Stopped, had a good gander at the view, and had some chats. Had some chats with his, with his staff, with his staff. What's that then? That's a rock. Okay. Yeah. So the tea house was there somewhere. Uh, and look at that baby! Wow! Wow! Look at that. Hey, amazing. What a view. What a view that is. Oh. I don't know if the banisters, the original railing or not. I know it's not the original bench. Uh, but wow, how amazing is that, eh? Can that view? Can that view? Try and get that drone for you, Jay.
So just imagine me having a cup of tea with Hitler, can't you? This is where he come. This is where he stood. And this is where he had a quick, good old gander of Unterau. There it is. He must have loved it. And then, see he's behind. At the top of the hill up there. It's Kelstein. Amazing. So, this is the route I took. And then running into the, to the one person sentry post was pretty cool. I think there's more than one of them, you know. It's got to be a few. Because that one, the one I just found, was in the middle of nowhere. So I've come to a junction now. I'm looking down onto Burke's Garden. Konigsee is far left. And there's the signs. And here is the junction where it goes left off to where the Berghoff is and right further up to where you get the bus up to the top of Kelstein so well yeah this is where hit I would have turned left and carried on this road there'd have been a gatehouse just on the left there where you see the concrete base uh, so he carried on and the Berghoff literally would have been in the trees on our right hand side there. Obviously these trees weren't there 80 odd years ago. <sighs> Tea house is down to the left. This is going to take us up to another junction where the Zum Turkin is. The hotel on the corner. Which during the war was used as... Um, Another gatehouse and another uh, place where the German soldiers were based. So just nudging around the corner and there's the Zunturken. Now we all know there's an entrance to the tunnel system underneath there. Now the other one so just come down off the road from the Zumturken, Berg off about 100 metres in that direction. And this is one of the escape routes from the Berg off, which it goes in a couple of metres and then, yeah, you're not getting through that door. <laughs> All right, so. Unfortunate. There we go. That was probably grenade pit or something. There's the Zum Turken again. Which apparently is closed. So you can't go to the bunkers via it. And nobody knows what's going to happen to it in the future. So, no camping. As it says there. And to the bunkers. Which is this way.
Oh. Private plant place. So I'm maybe quite lucky to see this because maybe in a year or two it might be closed up. I guess this, as it says at the top, is the entrance to the bunker. Oh wow. So you can see in there. It's not open. We can't cross. Can't cross there. Where's the entrance? Some Turkin, there she is. Borman's house up there. What's up that path? It's this path, isn't it? This was the entrance. This is where you go. This is the way to the Berghof. And this is the road, the path, tarmac underneath me and again just here on the left hand side, forward left, would have been the Berghof where Hitler spent a lot of his time, all his time when he was, when he was down this way. So it's not the back wall of the Berghof, it's just you now the retaining wall for the hillside behind it. Oh. Yeah, quite deep. <laughs> but there she is. There's a some Turkin at the end. There's a hotel behind that. There's a retaining wall. I believe that's where the garages would have laid, lied. This would have been, I'm literally inside the Berghof as I speak. And at the very end of the building here, where people have already walked, I think it's the section which protruded forward. Okay, so Round about here was that huge window Hitler would look out. Incredible. And where else trying to find out where the steps would have been? I guess about here. Steps going down to the right to meet the road. And the game would have been inside the Berghof. Oh. And there's all the info. So hopefully we're gonna find we visited the some Turkin escape exit. Now hopefully he's down here around the corner. It's gonna be the Berghof escape entrance. Have a look.
Uh, or maybe not. Okay, maybe further down. There's the road. <laughs> there she is. So the Berghoff's just up there. And here she is. This is the Berghoff. The road's only there, look. And then, yeah. This was, would have been the Berghoff escape entrance. You're not getting in there, are you? A few icicles. Look at that baby. Hello! <laughs> Should we really get a bit of a photo, shouldn't we? Great photo opportunity. So there we have it. Literally 100 metres. Now we're coming out to the documentation centre. Should be an entrance yeah, to the tunnel system. Now, I don't know where that is. Yep. Oh, you can see us. In fact, that's the entrance to the tunnel there. Uh, put it up against the glass. And there we go. Well, that's the entrance to the tunnel, and that would mirror image under the ground. And there'll be a tunnel system all the way down to the Berghof. Um, from the Berghof there was a couple of emergency exits. There's also tunnels as Umturken and the rest of the Platterhof where all Hitler's top men would be. Uh, okay. There's the documentation centre. Pretty cool, which is open.
Yeah, so there's a lot of good information up there. Uh, and this is the entrance to the bunker. I'm guessing you can go in. Go and have a look. There you go. That's the complete bunker system. I see some videos, they should have some graffiti still on here. There we go. That's a bit of maths. Can't see any scribbles or same. So, into the bunk. So this is basically saying, we encountered these constantly during our armed sort of 
so, over so many decades, people immortalise themselves here. Sometimes here is just a name. They're talking about graffiti. But, I mean, it won't be modern graffiti. You know, this is just after, just after the war. So yeah, it's, it's unfinished, but this is huge, huge, more graffiti, can't make it all that, so Amy Maguire, I think someone's name, uh, 1997, yeah, okay, so, they're saying, this does reach down to, Burghoff, but the state it's in, you know, it's it's unfinished. But surprisingly enough, this is kind of big. Ah, the gas lock. Okay, at the entrance of the gate, guest house bunker was never completed, nor were there three plan machine gun emplacements. Currently, we're using a side passage into the bunker that was sent to be bricked up later. Ah. This is for guests. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So this was a side entrance. Oh. Well, there's a, there's a ladder going down there. Obviously can't see. But there's a draft. So I think he's talking about this bunker. Would have been closed up at a later time. Diesel fuel tanks. Yeah, as you say, this would have been all unseen. Generator hall. Right, I don't know how original that is. What's that say? Two crosses of Lorraine have been scratched into the wall between the two. There is the date, the 5th of May 1945. On this day, AGPS and DA entered the bunker, although we only have their initials to go on. The abbreviation right at the top tells us that they belonged to the 2E Division Blindy, the 2nd French Armour Division. This was one of the Allied units that reached Burgess Garden on the evening of the 4th of May 1945. The Cross of Lorraine was the symbol of the armed division, but also of the French resistance, which had fought the German occupation from 1940 onwards. Interesting. So, that is original. The shaft leads up to the surface, but deeper underground. This is why it is called a blind shaft. It connected the bunker of the Horgol guest house with the Burghoff bunker, located 35 meters lower down. Originally, there was a makeshift wooden staircase here, but it has rotten away over the decades. About 20 meters down, the bunker of the SS Caserna branches off. Work on it continued until the final days of the war, but it was abandoned as a raw shell. This is why there was a rubber elevator in the shaft. You can see the pulley on the ceiling. The winch was in the cavity directly opposite. Whoa. Oh! Yeah, the winch on the ceiling. Deep down there, it's kind of far. Wow. So, leaving the big shaft behind, passing the toilets, back down the way we come. That was the entrance.
have we covered everything? So that was the. We've been to the guest house bunker, now we're going to the plant hot bunker. That's the way we come from the generator room. And this is going. Forced labour of a zone. Film and audio room. Tribute to all the workers. Forced laborers remember. Also Leute, die Beamte waren. Die wurden auch für die Lagerführung benutzt, für die Buchführung und verschiedene geistige Central Ventilation Station. Air Raid Shelter.
down here. This being the Berghof Zumturken, the Caserna here, and we basically have walked through the Berghof up to this area here where the documentation center is now. Inside one of the machine gun mounds here, or well, the machine gun, yeah. So you can see that. Wow. This is where it would have been mounted. And then, obviously, you know, looking through up the stairs. And there she goes up the stairs. Which is where we're going to have a look at now. Fascinating. I wonder where that comes out. Oh yeah, there's still marble stairs. Gra granite, granite stairs, don't they? That goes all the way up there. Yeah, fancy breaking in and then coming across that machine gun. Little bunker here. Bit creepy. So leaving the new documentation centre, 
Okay, and this was the old documentation centre. Which is all closed now. Interesting. Have a look up there. And the Kilstein's up there still. Oh, I want to get up there, but it's too far. Especially in this weather. behind yeah so it's been shut for a couple of years the documentation documentation center and it's only been open since um, September well, it's only Dece December now so pretty lucky stairs stairs which can't go up Okay, to orientate you again, that's where I've just come from, which is the documentation centre. I'll come out to this sign here with the Berg Gasthof of a Salzburg to my left. Them signs, um, Eagles Nest Straight On, where you get the buses from, and I believe just in the tree line there is where Hitler, once he got out of prison for that short time when he tried to overthrow the government this is where he resided for a little while and finished off my camp, which I mentioned earlier just got to find the path to it which has got to be It's got to be in that tree line there behind that hut. That's where, that's where I'm going to go. We see. In the thick snow. <laughs> and around the back of here. See what we've got. Tree line. In fact, that looks like a better path just there. Look, if I can get through this, there we go. And down here, and there's footprints. So, someone's already been maybe yesterday because there wasn't any snowfall overnight. So just a little way down here, on the left hand side, I should see just a base, that place where Hitler stayed, before he moved into, well, before he become the Führer and took over, you know, the Burghoff. And there we go, wow. No one would never know. I can't see any footprints up to it. Uh, so if I pop up here. Maybe just imagine again none of these trees. Okay, that's how close we are. You'd never have known. People come visit the Virgoff. Some believe that's where he finished mine camp, but no, <laughs> here. Unbelievable, right? Eh? Say unbelievable. It's history. Maybe it's been a respectable little place. <laughs> and that's it. All right, where to from here? Let's have a look. So I left um, Hitler's little house behind me. Walking. 
to the coke bunker. Now, it's past the guest house. Behind the guest house. Oh, this is deep. Here's the documentation centre. There's our sign. Park here. Jump on the buses. And go up Kilstein. Oh, this is deep. Okay, so this is the main roundabout. Oh, there's another picture of the berg. Guest off, we're on the guest off in the valley, Konigsay, Birch's Garden. Left of the gas off, just in the trees there. Hit this little house. Okay, Burgers Garden, 5Ks. Kilstein Eagle's Nest documentation or Salzburg. Go okay, to where we come from. This is Kilstein Bus Abfahrt, where you park your cars, jump on the buses, and go up to Kilstein. That's the new hotel in the background where the Caserna army soldier camp was all them years ago. Now a very nice hotel. There's a roundabout. Around this way to the coke bunker which held, a, I don't know, 50 million cubic metres of coal which would look after this area that's where you get the buses to the Kilstein all closed up because of the winter months apparently a dangerous road ok so I've got a little bit of a walk down this way get to the coke bunker and then from there gonna go in the vicinity of that hotel because that's where all Hitler's cronies lived okay so look for the remnants of their houses then back down to the Zumturgen so this is the road which you can't see, which runs down to the documentation centre, the Caserna, um, then to the Berghof. Um, and this would have come up to this gatehouse, again original, um, and this would have been the route Hitler or anybody back then took up to Kelstein. Which I don't think it's used now, the other road's used. Okay, but there's a that's it, that is original. Crazy. And I'm gonna... Okay, that's black ice. I'm gonna carry on up to the hotel there. Ugh. Ah. See, these other houses here now. Borman's. Secretary's house. Not Borman's house, or Goring's house. I think it's Boring's, it's Boring's Secretary's House. And the buildings behind it is where, again, SS soldiers would have stayed. Boring's House up in the area where the hotel is. Take a closer look at Boring Secretary's house on the way back. But the coat bunker should be just down here. 
we'll have a look. Okay, hotel being that way. Uh, that way is the SS soldiers. This way, I've just seen an entrance to looks like the tunnel system there to the bunkers. Okay, so, yeah. Woo! So we're gonna try and shine a torch, but not bright enough to see down the end. Fascinating though. I wasn't expecting to come across that, but extensive. Okay, not too far a trek. That's literally where I've come from. Borman's Goring or whatever. Secretary's house, SS soldiers. And here's the coal bunker. Okay, quite a humongous structure of concrete. With the road just above it. Uh, and chutes where the large lorries of coal would have dropped off the coal which would have filled up from the bottom and then smaller vehicles would have taken the coal from here and applied it to all the houses in the area there we go Nothing too spectacular, but obviously humongous. So they've not um, ripped it down. So again, this is where the SS soldiers would have been. I'm going to try and walk through. Hotel in the background. We're going all original. Really cool, eh? Takes you back 80 years, eh? Let's see if I can get through here. And these new ones, which obviously I know the new ones behind, which are the original ones. Let's see what I can get through here. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're just apartments now, but that's where Goring's secretary would have lived. I'm going to go from here up to the hotel area, going to look for Goring and Borman's 
houses. So I believe this is the other house here. So halfway down that way and up here. Whatever this is. Some sort of remains of something here. I believe there's a little step way down here. Now look. Yep, I'm on the steps now. Here they are. So that was Borman's house at the top there. Uh, I'll walk down the steps. Okay. Oh, you can see the steps going up to his house. Incredible. Now I wanted to find a pathway down. Uh, looks like it's down there, which hopefully is going to take me down. We'll have a look. I'll go this way to get to the park there. Yeah. There we go. Oh, fun! So, hopefully, this is going to take me back down to the Zum Turken. Well, we'll have a look. <laughs> So, leaving the hotel behind, it's coming from Goring's house, and literally just down there is the Zum Turken again. Crossing a bridge, which looks like an ice ring. Ah, oh, not too bad. Oh, big car park over to the hotel. That's the road I walked up with the buses. Oh, I don't know I'll get down in there now. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I need to get on that road there. Which I guess to take me round to the left and back up there. But honestly, when you're down here, anywhere you look, the Kelstein can see you. It's there. All right. Hopefully, this takes me to the Zum Turken. Ah! Norman's house, which is just up there. And that's an entrance to his bunker. It's everything so close, really. And there, there's his old token again. Mm -hmm.